Greetings! The final curtain is about to fall on the continent of Terra, and we're thrilled to welcome all lords to embark on the brand new journey of Golden Freedom. Today, we're here to introduce the exciting new features of the Golden Freedom. This storyline still unfolds in the continent of Terra. As the internal strife within the Terra Empire subsides, a new power struggle emerges for control over the Empire's Golden Freedom, which is the key of the kingdom settling and thriving. Era of Conquest updates cyclically in campaign mode, which contains both story campaign and pioneer campaign gameplay. Each campaign has two parts, the initial preparation area and the subsequent campaign mode. The preparation area acts as a brief rest zone for lords before the new season begins. After a short wait, it automatically shifts into the campaign mode. When you enter the preparation area, you'll pick up where you left off in the last season, keeping your heroes and their skills intact. However, alliance activities will be paused and there will be some adjustments to city building and other functions. Choosing the spawn point for the campaign is crucial and lords can choose where they want to begin their growth. Alliance leaders can also mark recommended areas so familiar lords can venture into the new campaign together. Don't worry if you haven't signed up for a spawn point. The system will place you in a random map location and there are opportunities to migrate after the Golden Freedom campaign begins. In the preparation area, we're introducing a new preparation mobilization mode. Lords can earn attempts to challenge the preparation fortress by making alliance contributions and can issue a declaration of war to get war supplies. Any war supplies earned will be kept until the next campaign starts. Once the brief preparation area ends, Lords will embark on the Golden Freedom. The story still unfolds in the continent of Terra, but within smaller regions. Expect shorter battle cycles, promising more intense conflicts. Seasonal maps will will now feature four terrains, including Gobi Desert, Mud Flats, Grassland, and Swamp, each greatly influencing the combat effectiveness of different units. In this Pioneer campaign, we're introducing the all-new Tavern Heroes, eight heroes, each with four unique skills. Join the battlefield and lords can recruit three of these heroes into their teams. Strategically assembling a team of Tavern Heroes with diverse skills can lead to unexpected successes in battles throughout the new season. In addition, a new general system is unlocked, allowing lords to build general barracks within their territory. These barracks boost troop deployment, conscription speed, and special training effect, enhancing your battle performance. Plus, there's the new skill research system. Lords can learn brand new skill tactics to bolster their team's strength in advantageous terrains. You can even trade divine tactics in the trade house. Experience the new Battlefield Trial Mode, where Lords can learn the intricacies of combat across various terrains in PvE gameplay. For Lords who participated in the Continent of Terrace, a special legendary challenge awaits. Team up and compete in the Point Match and Challenge Match. Work together to capture fortresses and monuments, and escort sacred seals to gain points and reign supreme in the Continent of Terra. As the Golden Freedom undergoes a season reset, previous alliances from the Return to Terra campaign will be dissolved, allowing lords to form new alliances during this period. Heroes and skills will be retained, but city building, exploration, and items will be cleared. For more details about the new Golden Freedom campaign, dive into the game and learn more!